immunomodulators. Immunomodulators. What is immunomodulators? Immunomodulators are medications used to help regulate or normalize the immune system. Example include one class of immunomodulators which is used as an ad on therapy to treat asthma and other which treat hereditary angioedema. Overviews Introduction Types of Immunity Immunomodulators Clinically used immunomodulators Drugs affecting immune response Immunosuppressant Immunostimulants Introduction The word immunity is derived from the Latin word immunes which means exempt from. Immunity is usually defined as a state of relative resistance to an infection. A substance capable of stimulating immune mechanism are called as antigens. Components of immune system first lymphocytes second cellular immunity third humoral immunity fourth immunoglobulin fifth lymph nodes sixth spleen seven thymus there are two types of immunity first active immunity and second passive immunity There are two types of immunity. First, active immunity. Second, passive immunity. What is active immunity? The immunity which results from the production of antibodies by the immune system in response to the presence of an antigen. And what is passive immunity? It is the transfer of active humoral immunity to ready-made antibodies. Passive immunity can occur naturally. When maternal antibodies are transferred to the fetus through the placenta. Passive immunization is used when there is a high risk of infection and sufficient time for the body to develop its own immune response or to reduce the symptoms of ongoing or immunosuppressive diseases. Passive immunization can be provided when People cannot synthesize antibodies and when they have been exposed to a disease that they do not immunity against. There are two types of immunity. First, active immunity. Second, passive immunity. What is active immunity? The immunity which results from the production of antibodies by the immune system in response to the presence of an antigen. And what is passive immunity? It is a transfer of active humoral immunity to ready-made antibodies. Passive immunity can occur naturally when maternal antibodies are transferred to the fetus through the placenta. Passive immunization is used when there is a high risk of infection and insufficient time for the body to develop its own immune response or to, or to reduce the symptoms of ongoing or immunosuppressive diseases. Passive immunization can be provided when people cannot synthesize antibodies and when they have been exposed to a disease that they do not immunity against. The important components of immune system includes granulocytes, complement synthesis and antibody formation, Cellular immunity, mucocutaneous barrier. Mechanism of immunomodulators. Drugs may modulate immune mechanism by either suppressing or by stimulating one or more of the following steps. First, antigen recognition and phagocytosis. Second, lymphocyte proliferation 
or differentiation third synthesis of antibodies fourth agab interaction that is antigen antibody interaction fifth release of mediators due to immune response sixth modification of target tissue response the importance of immune system is protecting the body against harmful molecules is well recognized however in sub instant this protection can result in serious problems example the introduction of allograft can elicit the damaging immune response causing rejection of transplanted benefits of immunomodulators stem from their ability to stimulate natural and adaptive defense mechanism such as cytokines which enable the body to help itself natural immunomodulators act to strengthen weak immune system and to moderate immune system that are overactive plant sterols and sterolines are natural immunomodulators found in some raw fruits and vegetables and in the alga and spirulina phases of immune response suppression and enhancers phases of immune response in that antigen recognition and processing suppression corticosteroid and cyclophosphamide enhancer bcg vaccine tetramisole phase of immune response amplification suppression l asparaginase corticosteroid cyclophosphamide pyofluorouracil enhancer concanavalin a tetramisole then next phase of immune response antibody formation suppression corticosteroid cyclophosphamide cyclosporine enhancer lipopolysaccharides tetramisole then next phase of immune response immune affector response suppression corticosteroids cyclophosphamide cyclosporine a methotrexate enhancer tetramisole immunomodulators types all drugs which modify immune response generally categorized as immunomodulators this can either function as first either they are function as immunosuppressant or am immunostimulant some of these can have both the properties depending on which component of immune response they affect immunosuppressant glucocorticoids calcineurin inhibitors cyclosporine tacrolimus antiprofilative and antimetabolic agent sirolimus evrolimus azathioprine mycophenolate moftil other methotrexate cyclophosphamide thalidomides and chlorambucil these immunosuppressant are antibodies anti thymocyte globulin then anti cd3 monoclonal antibody that is anti cd3 monoclonal antibody is one that bind to cd3 on the surface of t cells they are immunosuppressant agent then and uh, muromonav then anti il2 receptor antibodies il2 means interleukin 2 it is a type of cytokine signaling molecule in the immune system then daclizumab then bacilizumab then anti tnf alpha infliximab and entanercept immunosuppressant are the drugs which inhibit cellular or humoral or both types of immune responses and have their major use in organ transplantation and autoimmune diseases problem arising lifelong use infection 
nephrotoxicity diabetogenic immunosuppressant are the drug which inhibit cellular or humoral or both types of immune responses and have their major use in organ transplantation and autoimmune diseases problem arising lifelong use infection nephrotoxicity diabetogenic diabetogenic are the causing or producing diabetes glucocorticoids it induces redistribution of lymphocyte decreases in peripheral blood lymphocyte count down regulation of il1 il2 il3 il6 il stands for interleukin it is a type of cytokine signaling molecule in the immune system inhibition of t cell proliferation increased number of rbcs platelets neutrophils in circulation enhance rate of destruction of lymphoid cells uses transplant rejection second gvh bm transplantation gvh stands for graft versus host disease syndrome characterizes by inflammation in different organ next autoimmune diseases like ra ra stands for rheumatoid arthritis sle it is a systemic lupus erythematous hematological condition psoriasis inflammatory bowel diseases and eye conditions toxicity growth retardation avascular necrosis of bone risk of infection poor wound healing cataract hyperglycemia hypertension all are toxicity next immunosuppressant are calcineurin inhibitors cyclosporine tacrolimus most effective immunosuppressive drugs target intracellular signaling pathways block induction of cytokine genes next example cyclosporine cyclic peptide composed of 11 aa extracted from soil fungus selectively inhibits t lymphocyte proliferation il2 that is interleukin 2 and other cytokine production and response of inducer t cell to il1 without any effect on suppressor t cell lymphocytes are arrested at g0 or g1 phase it bind to the cytosolic protein cyclophilin it is a immunophilin of immunocompetent 
lymphocytes especially t lymphocytes this complex of cyclosporine and cyclophilin inhibit calcineurin which under normal circumstances is responsible for activating the transcription of il2 that is interleukin 2 it also inhibit lymphokine production and il release leads to a reduced function of effector t cell does not affect cytostatic activity uses of cyclosporin are first prevent rejection of kidney liver cardiac bm and other allergenic transplant second use can be used alone third more effective when glucocorticoids are also administered fifth most active when administered before antigen exposure fifth useful in autoimmune disease as well sixth alternative to methotrexate for the treatment of several and active rheumatoid arthritis selectively suppress cmi cmi stands for chronic multi symptoms Ill illness it is a second line drug for uveitis bronchial asthma etc free of toxic effect on bm and renal system for induction it is started orally 12 hour before the transplant and continue for as long as needed when graft rejection has started it can be given intravenously concentrated in rbcs and wbcs metabolized in liver excreted in bile t half 4 to 6 hour and 12 to 18 hours toxicity of cyclosporin renal dysfunction tremors hirsutism hypertension hyperlipidemia gum hyperplasia hyperuricemia worsen gout and calcineurin inhibitor plus glucocorticoid causes diabetogenic that is causing or production of diabetes thank you